give a woman the right lipstick and she can conquer the world. So true, right? But if you're struggling with lipstick application and want to learn the right way to do it, then you've come just to the right place. Hi guys, I'm Sachi and today I'm going to be showing you the ultimate lipstick application guide. Grab some lipstick and let's do this. But before that, if you are new to the Be Beautiful channel, then hit subscribe and ring the bell icon for further notifications. Even before you think of applying lipstick, there is a crucial step that you should never ever miss and that is to moisturize. Because if you don't moisturize your lipstick, it may not sit properly on the lips and would eventually crease up and appear patchy. So go ahead and use a moisturizing chapstick of your choice. I'm going to be using my OG choice which is the Vaseline Petroleum Jelly and apply it all over my lips. Keep this on your lips for about a minute and then gently wipe it off with a soft cotton pad. The second step is to apply a little foundation or concealer on the lips. This acts as a primer and fills in any cracks you might have on the lips, giving your lipstick a smooth and even base so that it does not sink into any fine lines. So just dab a bit of concealer on the lips through the help of a beauty sponge and blend it out gently and evenly. This step is especially great for hiding hyperpigmentation on the lips. The third step is to apply a lip liner. Because a lip liner not only defines the lip and prevents feathering or bleeding of the lip color, but it can also enhance the shape of the lips and add depth. I'm currently in love with the Lakme Absolute 3D Lip Definer Incarnation. The formulation is waterproof and super soft, which means it's not going to tug on your lips. I always like to start by drawing an X on my cupid's bow. This will make my cupid's bow appear sharper and this is especially useful for women who don't have a very defined upper lip. Then I'm going to go ahead and start tracing the liner towards the corner of my lips. Repeat the same on the other side. Then for the lower lip, draw a small dash on the center and then start connecting it with both the corners of the lower lip. Then I'm going to fill in the center of the lips lightly with the same lip liner. This will create a base for the lipstick. If you want to see a more detailed video on how to line your lips, then I'm dropping a link in the description box. So make sure you go and check that out. Now it's time to apply lipstick and this is what I'm going to be using. This is the Lakme Absolute Precision Lip Paint in Victorian Magenta. This product is fairly new in my collection and I love it because it comes in a pot along with a lip brush which makes me feel like almost like a professional makeup artist if I could say every time I use it. So now my lips are ready for the actual lipstick application. Just keep your mouth relaxed, open it slightly and then swipe the color across from the center. While applying, make short strokes and slowly work outwards. This lipstick has a thick cream-like texture which helps it glide on my lips like butter on a hot pan. Plus the applicator is useful for getting into those tiny areas of the lips for a more defined looking pout. As you can see, the finish is matte and having used this earlier several times, let me just say that this is going to stay put for many, many hours. Now you can stop right here, but if you want to add more dimension to your lips, then I suggest you go ahead over your lipstick with a lip gloss. Let me show you the lip gloss that I have been loving lately. This is the Lakme Absolute Spotlight Gloss in the shade Berry Berry. You can either apply it just on the center of the lips or you can apply it all over the lips. This has a very gel-like finish, velvety texture and feels super lightweight on the lips. But the best part is that it is non-sticky. Now that is something which I feel is a huge plus and I absolutely look out when buying a lip gloss. As a tip, remember not to rub your lips together after applying lip gloss because this can kind of knock off the shine. As you can see, wearing lipstick isn't rocket science, but it is really important to wear it the right way so that it enhances your pout and reduces midday touch-ups. For that, make sure to follow this ultimate lipstick application guide. Before you go, like, share and subscribe to Be Beautiful and ring the bell icon for further notifications. See you next time. Bye.